Facebook, Twitter, MySpace. These are just a few of the social networking sites that are remaking communications. A group of mayors and other government policy leaders got a crash course today sponsored by the League of Municipalities on the power of social media. Now, senior correspondent Marie-Denoya Aronson checked in on how some old-school New Jersey elected officials are getting with the program. You started out by insulting our city, and I had to respond, and I banned you from Newark Airport. Newark Mayor Cory Booker's tangle with comic Conan O'Brien has become a kind of case study on the importance and power of social media for elected officials. Booker, who is running for re-election this spring, has more than a million followers on Twitter and thousands on Facebook. Last summer, he used his social media savvy to strike back when O'Brien made a crack about Newark. We looked at Conan O'Brien's ratings and said, yeah, maybe he's got two or three times the ratings we have, but we have a reach if we could do our strategy, be the media, attract the media, uh, uh, and create something uh, that was interesting uh, and, and, and viral and fun, we thought, you know what, let's try this first really big experiment. The big experiment paid off big time. The number one downloaded video on CNN's website uh, on, uh, during one week was, uh, uh, for one day, was uh, the, the fight between Conan and I. Ultimately, Booker went on Conan, and Conan made a donation to the city. But most importantly, Newark made its point. But for us, it began to show that you can actually take the media and beat them. You do not have to be, as many uh, cities or political leaders were, simply victimized. Um, you could get out there and begin to control media and drive media yourself. Booker says his immersion in social media started with a phone call from movie star Ashton Kutcher, who encouraged him to jump in. For the three mayors and dozens of other government officials who showed up at the League of Municipalities event, today's conference was designed to be the same kind of wake-up call. I think it's incumbent for local officials to be able to, to serve as a role model, uh, not only for their fellow elected officials, but for the citizenry at large, because it's coming. I mean, we may be resisting it, but it is coming, and you've got to get on the bandwagon. I'm of the older age group that he was talking about so we're you know we're email people and I'm a newspaper guy I get my n news from the newspaper stuff we still put out a printed newspaper in Dufferin Township a newsletter but certainly that's why we're here to learn about this do you yourself have a Facebook page at this point no no I'm, I'm a little bit behind with the Facebook page and and uh, Twitter and all of that but East Orange Mayor Robert Bowser is ready to jump in too especially this budget season because he says since his city lost nearly six million dollars in state aid he feels he'll need all the communication tools he can get to explain what's happening it's a way to get the word out to people that uh, you know there's some things that we can't do anymore just because there's the, the well has dried up you can use twitter to monitor what people are saying in real time chris rossica was one of today's teachers he says he finds elected officials tend to resist the social media scene because they fear it will stimulate negative online comments. You cannot stop the online conversation. You really need to be part of that conversation and listen to what people are saying while not responding to everybody uh, it is important to have a voice. Today's conference is the second time the League of Municipalities has offered public officials a crash course on social media, and they say there are likely to be two more such sessions. Another sign this kind of communication is growing in importance and power and here to stay. Marie Denoya Aronson, NJN News, Newark.